A minister signs off 20% of Zimbabwean land. Let me just ask this. My people from Zimbabwe, I don't know, you know, who watches Mr. J, but my brother, if you are a, a, a child, a citizen from Zimbabwe, I want you to chime in. Is it that you people do not know exactly what to do with land or what? Is it that you guys are not into farming or is it that you guys do not believe in agriculture? If you see me in the streets, better holler at me. Seeking for a beat, throw them dollars at me. I don't like the feet, take that away from me. Trying to be like me, you couldn't handle my story But we gon' let you know, we gon' let you know We gon' let you know, we gon' let you know Yo, dear Africans, man, yo What is wrong with us? Like, what is really, really, really wrong with us? Why is it that our leaders are always the worst The worst breeds of leaders in the globe, man? Now, some of you be wondering, like, yo, why is Mr. J saying what he's saying? Man, we are going to talk about something real quick, but before we get started, I just want to say this, man. Do not forget to hit that like button, man. The more you hit it, the more YouTube shows my vlogs to a whole lot of people. And I just want to say this. I appreciate everybody always stopping by, man. I appreciate you, you watching Mr. J right now for taking time out of your busy schedule to ensure that you hear what Mr. J has to say. Oh. They call me Jay, man. I'm a motherland and I live out in the diaspora. And I do drop vlogs, man, every now and then talking about situations happening in my continent. My brother, Africa, man. I'm a son of Africa, man. And I got to give my own two quarters. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, somebody shared with me recently something which it's... Bro, it's, it's really disturbing, man. Somebody shared with me an article from CNN and this article is about um, Zimbabwe. Yes, Zimbabwe, yes, the great Mugabe's country, yes, you might say what you want to say about Robert Mugabe, but Mr. J loved that man. And that man has some great vision for his country, although he didn't implement them really good. Uh, yes, man, this article is about the Zimbabwe, man. And this article on CNN says that a UAE company just acquired over 20% of the land in Zimbabwe for carbon offset projects. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but um, it seems as if we have been cursed. When I say we, I'm talking about our leaders in Africa have been cursed. It seems as if, let me use the word of uh, African Pan-Africanist and scholar, man, Professor P.L.O. Lumumba. It seems as if we only elect the worst kind of people to lead us. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, as per this article, I'm going to paraphrase it. I'm not going to read it, man. A small UAE company, man, Blue Carbon, a company that is backed by the royal family and the money, man, they have acquired a piece of land in Africa, Zimbabwe, Africa, the size of the UK. Yes, this UK. They have acquired the land the size of this, the United Kingdom. What the hell is wrong with our leaders, man? Why are we always doing the dumbest shit on earth? How can you sell 20% of your land? How can somebody explain this dumb shit to me? I'm sorry, man. I'm pissed. I'm not from that beautiful country, but I keep hating the fact that I keep seeing some of the dumbest decisions being taken by some of our man scums in the names of leaders, man. Yeah, man, this guy took out Robert Mugabe. Robert Mugabe had his own issues, man. But the sanctions actually didn't let Robert Mugabe to do what he was trying to do in this beautiful country of Zimbabwe. This man took over and he promised the people of Zimbabwe that things are going to change. And then he comes in. He goes in for his first term. And then he decides to go in again. Of 
course, you guys know of the election campaign things he said. He was God sent to the people in Zimbabwe and so on and so forth. I don't want to get into all that mumbo jumbo, but it is under his administration that a minister signs off 20% of Zimbabwean land. Let me just ask this. My people from Zimbabwe, I don't know, you know, who watches Mr. J, but my brother, if you are a, a, a child, a citizen from Zimbabwe, I want you to chime in. Is it that you people do not know exactly what to do with land or what? Is it that you guys are not into farming or is it that you guys do not believe in agriculture? Is it that you guys in the diaspora? I'm talking about if you are from Zimbabwe, you live in the diaspora. I don't care what part of the diaspora is it. Is it that you do not believe that you will need land to do projects? Is it that you don't believe in that or what? What is your problem? Now, how can this man just sell off 20% of the land, the land that belongs to the Zimbabwe? Bro, you guys need to come out manifesting. You guys need to protest. Now, I don't care if you're going to tell me, yo, Mr. J, this is the UAE, this is Dubai. I don't care what you're going to tell me. That land that this company just bought, of course, the Middle East, they got money. The royal family from Dubai, they got money. How are you going to sell 20% of the land? Don't you guys have native in Zimbabwe that can fight this shit off? Don't you guys have citizens and youths that can stand off like men? What is the future like for you folks? That is my thing and nobody is even making noise about it. It's like, bro, this shit pisses me off way than it pisses some of you, I, I, get, I bet. Yes, they can come in, they can flood money. Unfortunately, our African leaders are such idiots that anybody can come in and just flood some money and they sell off the future of its citizens. Is it that, is that are we that, that lame? Like. Come on, man. What, what, what happened to the spirit, man? What happened to the spirit of being truly African and fighting for your people? How do we put people in position like this? How do you let somebody sell a land the size of the United Kingdom? How? Come on, bro. The UK is big. And for a single, a small company to come in and take that land? And you guys are not even saying nothing. Nobody. Bro. We need to pray for you guys, like seriously, we need to pray and every son and daughter of motherland, we need to be talking about this shit so that something can be done. It's really appalling, but I will end this vlog by saying this. If the folks or in the youth in Zimbabwe think that it's way better going out and finding greener pastures, whereas... The leaders in your countries are busy selling your own green pastures. Agriculture is key, man. He who plants food never goes hungry. You guys are not supposed to let this shit slide like this. You guys are supposed to stand up. That's my time, man. Before I go, please, man. This, this is really, really disturbing on all levels. I don't care what you say. If you are a son and daughter of Africa, this has to piss you the fuck off. Leave a comment, man. Give us that thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share. And my heart goes out to this whole age, man. Now, I don't know what kind of carbon situation they're trying to put in there. But, bro, 20% of your land? Man, I'm out of here. Peace. Creation, reaction, God. Big up TRP family. Mr. J, I see you. I know some artists don't do this. God bless you and your families.